Welcome to our next video. In this video we will go through the process needed to convert Home Assistant to use MariaDB instead of the default database. MariaDB is a relational database with an SQL backend that is better suited for storing the data that Home Assistant generates. It is quicker than the default SQLite database. Home Assistant runs quicker as a result. Better performance is experienced with the larger datasets. Data can be queried using standard SQL syntax. If you're using an SD card, for instance on a Raspberry Pi, don't use MariaDB. Database writes will shorten the life of the SD card. Upgrade to an SSD or alternatively run Home Assistant as a virtual machine. At the point of changing the database, you will lose all previously recorded sensor data. As with all Home Assistant tasks, take a backup prior to making any changes. First, go to Settings, Add-ons, and click the Add-on Store button. Click on MariaDB and click on Install. When it's installed, enable the watchdog and then go to configuration. Replace null with a password. Go back to the info tab and click start. Click on the log and check if MariaDB has started. To replace the Home Assistant database with MariaDB, you need to change something in the configuration.yaml file. Go to the documentation tab and scroll down until you get to the Home Assistant configuration section. You'll see a couple of lines of code starting with recorder. Select this and copy. Click on File Editor or your editor of choice. Open up configuration.yaml. Go to the bottom of the file and add the lines you've just copied. Change the word password for the password you set in the MariaDB config. Click the save icon. We need to check our configuration and then restart. To do this, click on developer tools. Click the YAML tab. At the top, click on check configuration. If it shows configuration valid, you can then click restart. If it failed, you'll be guided to where the error is. It's most likely to be a spelling or formatting error. Once Home Assistant has restarted, click on the History tab. If all went well, you should ideally see only a few minutes of history. If you click the Refresh button, this will gradually show more data. If it's still showing the last 10 minutes of data, chances are that you've missed a step, possibly editing the configuration.yaml. If all has worked well and you're now running on the new database, you can safely remove the old database. To do this, go to File Editor and click on the folder name. 
find the home hyphen assistant underscore v2.db file. Click on the three dots and select delete. Select yes on the confirmation. The migration to MariaDB is now complete. You should see improved performance almost immediately. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, please click on the like button. Please also subscribe in order to see my other Home Assistant and Smart Home videos. And if you have any comments or would like to see anything in particular, please comment below.